Hey yo, what up? It's your girl P reporting live from the DTX baby. You already know who it is. It's the queen of the city. Today I have a mukbang coming to you. We got um Panda Express. Basically, let me seat it in this chair better. You know, Corona going around, so they doing nothing but delivery and takeout or whatever. But so I want to talk about my quarantine experience and we're going to talk about some other stuff and I got some questions and fun stuff to, that we're going to talk about as well. Um, actually, I should keep this. Probably should keep that. Um, so, so my quarantine experience starting off, um, you know, okay, let me show y'all what I got. I got I always get the plate. This is just my favorite meal. I always get the plate. Um let me get this nice and I always get the plate with the um beef and broccoli, Beijing beef, and the chow mein. I used to get um let's see. I used to get um fried rice, but I upgraded to the Beijing, I mean to the, um, Chow Ming. I upgraded to Chow Ming because Chow Ming be good. Then I got my soy sauce over here. But yeah, my quarantine experience has been, um, at times it's like boring. It's been, it's boring at times, but then it's like, we're a big family, so we find things to do to have fun. We do what we can. We bought games and stuff. Ew. Ew. I don't like soy sauce by itself. But we do what we can to have fun and make the best of it. I normally don't do this part first, but we're going to do it for the sake of the video. I never eat this because I don't like it. It's nasty to me. And I always keep these. I have a a whole collection of these. You are always entertaining. You are my bad. You are always entertaining and delightful. Well, that is true. Every one I get, every single one of these that I get have been like facts. Like I can honestly say it's facts. But yeah, so that was mine. Um, also for, we've been doing a lot of Netflix and, um, Fire Stick. I play my game every now and then, mostly on the phone a lot. I got my, this is my laptop right here. I was going to ask questions and stuff. Mm, it's so good. Ooh, that Saku Japan place. It's in Colleen. We used to go there faithfully. But Panda Express has always my, been my favorite. I love Asian food. Okay, so that's basically what we've been doing for quarantine. And every now and then, I do go out and I hang out with my friends, but we stay in house, in the houses. Or we go to, like, a basketball court or something, park, to just get out the house, you know. Because I'm the type of person, the personality I have, I can't be cooped up, cooped up in the house every day, all day. That's just not me. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. I ain't ate all day. What? Oh, that's a lie. Look at me lying. Mm. Sometimes I can't even help it. I ate this morning, and I ate a little bit earlier. But I don't know. I'm just hungry. This chow mein be good. 
Okay, so my favorite meal is literally this chow mein, beef and broccoli, and Beijing beef. Literally. That's the only thing I get at Pan Express. I'm going to start a challenge, y'all, but I got to come up with something. You know, everybody coming up with stuff. I just got my hair done, too. Not really, but I had to switch it up a little bit. Do the twisties. And, um, because I was going to get my hair braided, but all this stuff went down and they closed places. So, couldn't even get my nails or hair done. It's crazy. So my nails have like growing out. They're like super long. Look at this. So good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I got a jug of water. I be drinking that jug. I don't have no shame. Okay, I'm going to start with um, some of these questions or whatever. Um, let's see. Um, after a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? Me personally, after a breakup, I usually like, I ain't gonna lie, I usually be wanting to be surrounded by people. Um... Just because usually when I, when usually I'm just me personally, usually when I'm experiencing a breakup, like I'm hype. I'm like, I'm like, I'm ready to conquer the world. Like, like what's good? Where the hoes at? You know, like that's me. But even with somebody I've been dating for a long time, but usually, usually I know when we about to break up. I know when. It's never, a breakup has never been devastating to me because I seen it coming, like, shit started happening and it was just like, I kind of prepared my, I was able to prepare myself for it, so I've never been, like, completely sad until maybe a little bit later when it really just dawned on me that, oh, we're not together no more. But I love to be around people. After a breakup, I would rather be around friends. To just kind of help me get my mind off it so I won't even have to focus on it. And the beef and broccoli. Um. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Um, I am a dog person. Me personally, I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of cats. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, yeah, I probably wouldn't ever get one. There's nothing wrong with cats. I just, I just love dogs. I've loved dogs all my life. All my life, I have loved dogs. I have two, do well, my dog, my, my dog actually recently passed away, so I have one dog now. But we have one dog now. We did have two. Are you a good cook? Yeah, I am. I come from a back black southern country. What else? Period. Family, okay? We cooks, all right? We just down in the kitchen, okay? We don't play when it comes to filling our stomachs, okay? We don't play about that. Um, are you a morning person or a night person? All right, listen. Most people, I believe, are night people, right? Most people stay up late. Me? I'm more of a morning person. Like, my energy, my energy be on, my energy be on 10 in the morning, okay? My energy be on 10, 1,000 in the morning. Catch me in the more in the a.m., okay? Catch me in the a.m., and when it start getting late, 
because my body starts to shut around shut down around like nine or ten o'clock but that doesn't mean like i'm gonna go to bed at that time but my body starts to shut down around that time um I being in college, I'm able to stay up however long I need to. Like I'm able to force my body to stay up. But that does not make me a night person. That does not make me a night person at all. I'm more of a morning person. I've been a morning person all my life. But I can now being in college, I can force my body to um stay up when I need to just because I go to parties and stuff. And hanging out with friends. Most people like to hang out late. So, I just had to adjust. But, I'm able to do it. Are you high maintenance? I'm weak. Let me tell you. Most people that know me will say I'm bougie. Okay? In my family, we bougie. Even our own family say we bougie. I can explain that. Okay. You can call me bougie. You can call me whatever you want to call me. Okay. But. I just like nice things. I was raised a certain way. Therefore, I'm going to live my life according to that way. Not saying everybody do that. But me, I enjoy that lifestyle. I've been accustomed to that lifestyle. Therefore, that's what I'm going to live my life based on, that lifestyle, right? It's nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, anything else, but call me bougie, call me what you want, but I just like nice things, boo, okay? So, I guess you want to say that's high maintenance, whatever. Um, Are you named after anyone? This is interesting. I got to tell y'all this story, right? It's going to answer this question. So... When my mom was younger, you know, in her party life, you know what I'm saying, like that, when them 20s, baby, she would go to the club with her sister and her friends and, and her cousins. Um, dudes would ask her, 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 her what's, well, you know, what's your name, boo, what's your name, my, you know what I'm saying, all that. She would tell them Paris. As y'all know, my name is Paris. She would tell them that. And um, because it was like her club name, so she wouldn't give out her real name. And, um, so she would say, I guess that's the name she came up with, Paris. And so they would say that name later looking for her and people be like, you know, who you talking about? Who's that? We don't know that. Whatever the case may be. So when she had me, that's what she named me. She named me Paris. And I am named my middle name. I am named after my mom. I have I have two middle names. My mom named me. She came up with Elise. That's my first middle name. My second middle name, I'm named after my grandma. Her middle name is um Annette. So my name is Paris Elise Annette Rawls. I have two middle names. My grandma's name is Virginia Annette. Well, now uh Brown. Her last name is Brown. Virginia um, and Ned Brown. So, um, her maiden name is Bill. So, her maiden name, her original name was, maiden name is um, Virginia and Ned Bill. So, I was named after my grandma. Um, So, that's, I guess that's pretty cool. Are your grandparents still married? Yes. Um, They might not be married to each other, but they're all married now. Whether they're, it's their second, third, whatever marriage, but they married. Can you dance? You already know I gets down. I'm, hey, when I'm in a, when I'm going to a party or to the club, whatever the case may be, when I'm walking, any room that I'm walking in, it don't even matter if it's a party. If I'm in the building, <laughs> what's up? I'm walking through the door lit. I'm telling you, I'm walking through the door lit. I'm telling you, I promise you. I'm always on 10 for one. Music ain't even got to be on, but it's in my head, though. That's all that matters. It's in my head. Um, can you, can you whistle? Yeah, of course I could whistle. Are you, are you more likely, are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage in head on? Okay, let me tell you something. 
I am I am a sweet, nice person. When you meet me, well hell. When when people when people first meet me, they flat out tell me, You are very intimidating. I was afraid to walk up to you and talk to you. People are afraid because I guess I have this resting bitch face or whatever. And I always look, the, the way I even walk, it looks like I'm mad and I'm ready to fight. But, I'm really, when you get to know me, and when you get to know me, like, I'm really nice. I'm really cool. I'm chill, laid back. I be on 10, lots of energy. That's just how I am. But, people tell me all the time, like, yo, you mad intimidating. But, me, conflict, okay, I think I got more than one, but I think I got personality after personality because I'm unpredictable. I'm so unpredictable. People that know me, I'm still unpredictable. One thing I can say is I'll never start them. And one thing I can say is I don't really do conflict very well. I don't really like conflict. I just, I don't know. I don't really like confrontation very well. But you, one, it's just one of them things where I do have a short fuse. I do. I have a short fuse. And if you know something about to go down when, when I get quiet. When I get quiet, I've had enough. And by then, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, you, some, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, depending on what you did. If you really tested me or really tried my life, okay, uh, my mind circulating what I'm about to do to you, basically. What I'm about to do to you, what's about to go down, this, that, and the third. But, I never started. Do you believe in love and first sight? Do you believe in love at first sight? Hmm. Um, what do I believe in? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that I'm older. My thought process is different. When I was young, never, never believed in it whatsoever. Never believed in it. But now that I'm older, certain experiences have happened, certain things ran into certain people, dealt with certain people. Now I can honestly say, love and for sight is real, y'all. It's real. It's like. You can meet a person, and it's like you've known them forever. Like females, it's the way you are with your best friend. When you first met him or her, it was like y'all clicked right off the bat. That's like love at first sight with a friendship, though. Friendship at first sight, you know? When it comes to love, that stuff is real. Like you see that person, you interact with that person, it's like you've known them your whole life. It's so, it's so crazy. I'm telling you, it's real. I've, ex I've experienced it. That's why I can say it's real. It's so real. So I can say, yeah, now I believe in it. It's real. It's like that person is your best friend. Like, you go, th you go through thick and thin with that person. You're willing to do anything for that person. You, you'll do for that person more than you do for yourself, you know? And so... I'm done eating, y'all. I be I get full so fast. I can't eat. I'm gonna eat just tomorrow. I'm fin or later on tonight, cause I'll be up. So I'm gonna finish this later. But this was fun. It was something to do. But y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that post, um, that bell notification bell, and share this video.